Hey everybody, Mr. Gibson here. So for this activity, you're going to get to explore some of the trends on the periodic table. What I mean by trends uh, is, so like as you go left to right on the periodic table, does uh, a certain characteristic of the elements increase, such as electronegativity? Or as you go top to bottom, does uh, a characteristic like ionization energy or atomic radius, does it increase or decrease? And so for this unit, you have to know all these different characteristics like atomic radius, electron affinity, electronegativity, you have to know their trends on the periodic table so that generally you can look at a periodic table and know, okay, I know this element is over here, meaning so I know it's going to have a really high electronegativity, just as an example, because I know it increases from left to right or, or uh, bottom to top, okay? So uh, today you're gonna start to explore some of those trends. So what you wanna do is go to the Gizmo website, okay? Log in and then launch this Gizmo, Periodic Trends, okay? Once you've done that, you're gonna go back to the assignment. You're going to then open the Google Doc. Now, if you run into any words today, like electronegativity or all these new words that you don't know, I have attached a, a vocab list here that goes right along with the gizmo and is designed to help you. Okay, so if you run into a word you don't know what it means, just check it out on that vocab list. All right, so uh, once you open the Google Doc, it's going to look like this. You're going to answer these questions before doing the gizmo. So, um, and it's kind of just common sense, just real world questions. So, like it says in the image on the right, uh, the two mag magnets are the same. Which paper clip would be the hardest to remove? So, here you have one magnet and it has a really thick book between the magnet and the paper clip so a lot of distance between the magnet and the paper clip and then here you have a really thin book so the magnet is really close to the paper clip so you may you know go ahead and infer well the paper clips farther away on part on uh, example a so it'd be easy to remove that paper clip and for b it'd be harder to remove because it's closer okay um, and because it's closer that paper clip would then be able to attract additional paper clips. Okay, um, so what, and then, then you would try and figure out what's the relationship between the thickness of the book um, and the ability of the magnet to hold on to that paper clip. So the thicker the book, the less likely it is to, be, to hold on to that paper clip. Okay, and that's kind of an analogy for something you're going to see today when it comes to like the size of the atom and how attracted the electrons are to the nucleus. Okay, um, so here in the warm up, you're going to open the um, the gizmo, and I want to show you this. So it says uh, the atomic radius is the measure of the size of the electron cloud. It's like the radius of the atom. You guys know what radius is. Okay, it says to begin, make sure that hydrogen is selected. So let's go over here. We've selected hydrogen. Okay, and then it says um, turn on show ruler to measure the radius. Drag one end of the ruler. Um, to the proton in the nucleus and the other end to the electron. So I want to show you this because in the past people have gotten a little confused. So you're going to hit show ruler right here. Okay, this is your ruler. You've got to pick its starting and ending point. So we're going to pick the starting point to be the nucleus and the ending point to be the electron because that's the outside of the uh, the atom there. So the, from the distance from the uh, the center to the outside, that's the radius. So here we have the distance from the nucleus to the outermost electron. Uh, the length is 53 picometers, and we're going to hit save radius. So now we've calculated the, the atomic radius of hydrogen. So we're going to go back here. It says notice the radius is measured in picometers. That's really, really small. A picometer is one trillionth of a meter. Okay. So what's the radius of hydrogen? Well, we just found out it's 53 picometers. Okay. Oops, wrong thing. Next one on the right side, select uh, lithium. Connect the right side of the ruler to the outermost electron or the valence electron. What is the radius of lithium? So part of this activity is you having to calculate the, the atomic radius of some elements. So we're just getting some practice doing that. So here's the here's a lithium. Now it's got a, it's a slightly bigger atom because it's got electrons in the second energy level. So we've got a whole new ring here and a whole new energy level. So the atom is bigger. So we're going to keep one point at the middle because we're trying to find the radius and then we're going to drag this to the outermost electron and lithium's atomic radius is 167 picometers and so that's what you would type here okay 
So hopefully that's that's gotten you guys started. You're good on, on what to do. If you need any help at all, uh, just email me, okay? And I'll do what I can to help you. All right, guys, good luck.